So it feels a bit like spring uh, here at Queen's Park today. Uh, it was interesting seeing the Liberals and the Conservatives fight back and forth around uh, who's been better at responding to freedom of information requests. Uh, the Green Party thinks this is an important issue and what the uh, government and the opposition should be focusing in on is how do we reform our freedom of information laws so we make it easier for citizens to file requests to get the information they need about what their government is doing. We think that's an important issue to encourage more citizen participation in decision making. Rising energy prices, uh, particularly in the electrical sector, still continues to dominate debate at Queen's Park. Last week I uh, testified at the hearings into the new nuclear reactors in Darlington, which I think is the wrong way for Ontario to go. It would lock Ontario into expensive, inflexible electricity generation. We think the most financially responsible and cost-effective approach to addressing our future energy needs is to put energy efficiency and conservation first and foremost as our top priority. That will deliver long-term sustainable savings to Ontario ratepayers and taxpayers. If we had Green MPPs in the legislature, the question we would be focusing in on today would be around aggregate policy in this province. Along with our candidate in Dufferin Caledon, Rob String, I attended a rally and public hearings around the mega quarry proposed in Melanchthon Township in North Dufferin County the other night. A quarry that literally would be almost the size of the city of Toronto, eating up some of our prime, primus farmland. The question I would have for the government is, is what policies are they going to put in place to ensure that we preserve farmland and protect clean water from mega quarry developments?